Hello, my name is Mark DeGraff, and I will be co-presenting today with my colleague, Henry Newenhouse. Thanks, Mark. Henry and I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone for their interest and for attending our event during Build Act, Buildings Week 2020. Lumon Canada is pleased to present the Lumon Advantage, How Balcony Glazing Improves Buildings and Living Quality in Multi-Residential Developments. Today on our agenda, we'd like just to go and I'll, I'll take kind of the first part of this, uh, of this event and just uh, like to introduce Lumon, uh, a little bit about Lumon, where, where we got our start uh, in Finland and also just kind of give you some examples of balcony facades from around the world and Lumon solutions for upcoming projects in Canada as well. And then my colleague Henry Neuenhaus will get into the benefits of balcony glazing Loom balcony facades installation and service. So, as mentioned, our 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 company is uh, based out of Finland. We've been in Finland now for over forty years. This happens to be just a a photo of our head office in Kovala, outside of Helsinki. I've had the good fortune of going to Finland and as well as Henry Newenhouse as well, and seeing our production plant. It's a very modern, very efficient uh, plant where we produce our balcony glazing, our retractable glazing, everything is all produced in the, in the one plant there. And that plant services all the countries that Lumon operates around the world. Uh, we started again in, in Finland there and then we kind of expanded into the Scandinavian countries, other parts of Europe, Russia. Uh, we've even got into, you can see on the map there, as far down with the little sliver there with Chile and then we came to North America about 10, 10 years ago. And we started our first office in, in Toronto, and then we also opened up an office in Vancouver. Over the past 40 years, uh, Lumon is proud that we kind of recently crossed a milestone where we've completed more than 1 million balconies in over 20 countries and over 5,500 kilometers of manufactured glass or 5,500 manufactured glass panels and over 1 million, manu 1 million meters of, of manufactured balustrades and railings. Over the years, our sales have grown with the concept and as well as the number of employees in our company. Uh, recently, over 1,063 employees, just to kind of give you an idea of the size of our company and 143 million euros in sales annually. Our production plant based out of Finland produces more than 2,000, to give you an idea, produces more than 2,000 glass panels of tempered glass per, per day. But we also don't have just production in Finland, we also have production in, in Vaughan, Ontario. Uh, we like to have production in Canada as well. That's our first plant outside of Finland. Uh, when we operate here in Canada, we like to have the ability to, just in case, for the, for the most part, our orders do go, go to Finland, but for our single family division, some of our smaller orders, a lot of those orders will go to our production plant in Canada. It's also a bit of a nice uh, thing for us as kind of a backup, just in case we do receive something from Finland uh, that's, that's scratched, damaged, or or we have uh, something that's mismeasured or something like that on some of our lar larger projects, we can, we can certainly rely on, on getting something a little bit quicker out of our, our, our out of, out of Vaughan, Ontario there for us. To give you an idea of the Luma numbers in 2019 with our concept becoming more and more popular for residential developments, uh, again, over 800 kilometers, 800 projects in over 89 kilometers of railings and balustrades. And just to give you a sense of the volume there as well, uh, over 37,000 balconies in, in the year 2019. And our numbers for 2020 will be much higher, higher than that as well. And our single family division close to 5,000 sunrooms uh, on the back of single family homes. And this is the total from all, all the 20 countries that we operate in. And with our concept, there's, it's been kind of a, an evolution just in general, just speaking towards balconies in general. I, I'm sure we can all agree that 
We see very many residential developments. We see an awful lot of balconies on them, but we don't see a lot of people using the balconies. So Lumon over the years has developed our balcony glazing, starting with the railing system in the glass and then the retractable, retractable panels that go on top of the railings. And just to make the balcony space a nice indoor outdoor space just a lot more usable all year round and to give you an idea of our concept just on the different types of architecture uh, you'll notice in the top left hand corner there kind of a a full um, facade on a building with where we have our in, incorporated our railings and our retractable glass uh, across the whole facade and of course there's there's dividers between between the units there and then also on the right hand side you'll notice just a kind of a typical three-sided balcony as well and then you'll just see other other examples of other buildings in Finland where we incorporated our our concept into these multi-residential developments and we like to think that our system complements the look of a lot of these buildings and just some further examples of that as well just with maybe a bit more modern architecture like you'll see in the top left hand corner and then other treatments that we can do uh, with our railings with the different types of glass that Henry will get into a little bit more and in the bottom left hand corner for for people that may be attending from from Vancouver area there's something that you kind of see that's very similar to what you see like on the Camby corridor or something like that with the with the low rise unit there And also just kind of give everybody a really good idea of what it looks like on the inside of a balcony. So, and also maybe to give a bit better idea about our system. So our system is a single glazed panels. They are top hung. Uh, it is a system because we have our railing system with the retractable glass panels on top. So it's designed and engineered for the whole entire wall system. The panels, the retractable panels, just kind of butt up to each other. They're all in line on a single track. And it's a very versatile system as far as being able to open it up partially, uh, stagger the panels, that, that kind of thing as well. And Henry will get into a little bit more of how our system operates. Uh, you'll actually notice this picture is from downtown Helsinki. And you'll notice that, uh, well, it's kind of hard to notice, but in the background, you'll there's quite a few other buildings, multi-residential buildings, but in Helsinki, we're, we're fortunate because we're probably on about 80 or 90% of the buildings uh, downtown Helsinki, just to give you an idea how the concept is, has become very mainstream in, in, in uh, Finland and other, other parts of, of Europe as well. And to give you kind of some more ideas on, on how our system looks and how it's integrated into, into buildings in Finland, and again, we like to think that it complements the building and doesn't take away from the architecture. And maybe a bit more of a modern style building there. We do have our new type of railing system that doesn't have any posts. So it's just a very clean, very modern look to the building. And to give everybody a good idea how our system operates, this is a good photo showing a number of panels that have been retracted. And then there's also some full length panels that walk out onto a terrace and then the shorter panels are, are on top of our, our railing system there. But a very, very a versatile system. The whole entire wall system can open up. And then just other types of architecture in Finland. And with the different types of treatment uh, for multi-residential with the different types of colored glass and how people use their balconies in Finland and maybe provides a little bit of uh, privacy as well. And a recent project that was recently, or a project that was recently completed in Finland too with a developer, uh, the name of the developer is called YIT and this is their project called Tripla. It was a, a large uh, mixed use development beside a train station and a mall and they incorporated our concept on over 400 of the units for, for this uh, first phase of, of this project here. One of the reasons why they, they liked our system so much with the mixed use development was because of the noise reduction that our system uh, offers as well for, for mixed use developments. 
give you a bit better idea of the building a little closer up with the facades and it's kind of an interesting kind of facade on that type of building as well it's been quite large size balconies and other projects from other parts of europe this one happens to be in budapest hungary there and there's this is part of a, another mixed use uh, community there where there's a number of different uh taller taller buildings that our system was incorporated on as well One that another one that was recently completed in in Belgium, where it was incorporated into design of this building on on a 28-story building in Belgium with quite large balconies as well. Kind of an interesting design because our glazing on the outside of the balcony almost acts as like an ex, exoskeleton and offers that indoor outdoor space. A bit better, kind of closer up of, of that building as well. So other parts of Europe that uh, Lumon is proud to be working into is, is France, uh, Germany. So just some examples, Holland, Poland, quite large projects that we've been involved in in, in Russia. Uh, Norway just recently completed quite a modern looking taller building there as well. And of course, the Scandinavian countries like uh, Denmark. And Spain is one of our, actually one of our largest countries that, uh, or, or highest volume countries that we operate in. And Spain, as we all know, is, is a probably a bit warmer environment compared or warmer climate compared to Russia, Norway, other parts where they do uh, really like the benefits of balcony glazing in the colder climates. But Spain, with their warmer climate, they still do a lot of volume there. A lot of uh, of our, our retractable glass is incorporated into the buildings there as well. And one of the reasons why in the denser environments, denser urban populations there, is because of the noise reduction that our system offers, and Henry will get into a little bit more of that as well. Closer to home here in Canada, uh, we did we about uh, two years ago. We did a tower building in Montreal as well, and then we've been involved in some projects in in Toronto, Hamilton, and Markham, Ontario. And one of the larger developers in Canada, Mattamy Homes, we're proud to be working with them on a number of, of projects. This one happens to be the one in Brampton, Ontario there. And just a nicely designed, quite modern uh, looking building that incorporates the loom on balcony glazing. And for people out in Western Canada, uh, they may be familiar with, there's a developer called Quadra Homes. Uh, this was one of our first buildings that kind of got Lumon into Western Canada here. And there's a bit of a story on this building just because with this, the developer was in fairly, fairly advanced stages uh, with planning uh, with, with the township of Langley. And they thought it was a good idea to incorporate the solariums onto the balconies. Uh, but because of what stage they're at, they didn't want to change or alter the appearance of the building too much and change the, the roof line. So you'll notice that the balcony glazing is on the lower levels there and not on the top floor. But when the developer went to go sell the units, what happened is a lot of people, instead of wanting to purchase the upper floors or penthouse units, a lot of the, in the sales center, people migrated to the lower floors where the balcony glazing concept was incorporated. And the developer right away knew that this was a really, really, really good idea for, for their development. And that developer from doing that first building, which was about 153 units, they've had a lot of success with, with incorporating our concept into their projects. Uh, the gallery out in Abbotsford, other buildings in Langley, uh, Pitt Meadows, and just another building just to note here too uh, is in North Vancouver in the lower right hand screen here. And that happens to be a retrofit building that we did a number of years ago. And there's also a bit of a story in that building because what happened is we approached people in the building. There was some interest there with incorporating our system and it's kind of a unique shaped balcony, kind of a, maybe a six sided if we call it that for, for how it's configured. 
And it also just shows the flexibility because our system can go around the segmented balcony like that. But the people living in that building were experiencing quite high, high winds. And what happened on the first, when we kind of presented the concept, um, a lot of people hadn't seen this product in, in, uh, in Vancouver or North Vancouver before. And so there was maybe a bit of hesitation. So about 23 people signed up. Uh, and then shortly after we did the installations, but then what happened is a lot of people that also live in the building go into units where the balcony glazing was installed. And then the, the next wave, then all of a sudden 23 more people wanted to sign up and add the, the glazing to their balconies. And then now there's a third wave happening in that building. So pretty soon uh, we'll have almost all the units done in that building. Other uh, new projects that we're excited about here in Vancouver and the lower ma mainland, our first building in the top left-hand corner uh, was designed by GBL Architects, it's called Coco. It happens to face a busy uh, street on 41st Avenue in, in Vancouver. And one of the reasons why GBL incorporated our system was for the 50% noise reduction that our system operates, or offers, I should say, sorry. And then other recent projects, another developer on a fairly busy street in Vancouver as well called 888 Osler. They incorporated our system along with GB Architects on that uh, building as well. And then again, uh, Quadra Homes in the lower right hand corner with a, a new project out in Surrey that we just wrapped up that one called Forest Ridge. And they integrated our, our system into the 181 units there as well. Other developers have kind of noticed the success that Quadra Homes has, has had uh, here in the Lower Mainland and another developer called Hares Builders Group with their quite modern looking building in Langley as well. And Quadra again with a quite, uh, they used to do usually 153 units at a time, but with the, how well their product has been received in the, in the condominium market, now their newest project is called Car Wolf and it's a total of about nine buildings and it's and it's uh, 620 units all with the incorporation of the Lumon retractable glazing on all the units that are offered there as well and recently uh, we're working closely with a development company called Ele Elevate Development Corporation for their project out in Mission uh, BC there and uh, another one that we're very proud to be working with uh, in Maple Ridge and that's our first two towers for North America where the developer has decided to in include Lumon balcony glazing on all of the 510 units that are in those two towers in the city of Maple Ridge. <coughs> and another one uh, in Maple Ridge as well with High Point and another developer out in, in, in the Abbotsford area there with another 72 unit project as well. But I hope you can all agree that our system Again, it just kind of reflects on the different types of buildings, different types of architecture, and how well aesthetically that it will complement the building. So we're not just involved in the in the condominium market. We do offer uh, a solution for for the townhouse developments as well. And just kind of a good idea here of, of uh, some row housing and some townhouses incorporating our system. Uh, on this project, they happen to use a conventional roof. And then our system with the railings and the retractable glass is incorporated underneath that. And for the lower terrace, we just go with our full length uh, system as well. And this just to kind of give everybody a good idea of the size and the scope of the project that was with Carvolf in the township of Langley there with the nine buildings that I previously mentioned there. Again, just the integration of our, our concept on every single building as part of that design. And with them having the good success that they did on the condo minium side of things, how they've also incorporated the system into their townhouse for the first time as well, with the lower rise townhouse development there. So Lumon's not just on the, <clears throat> on the multi-residential side. We also have been incorporated into a lot of restaurant designs, uh, the Boston Pizza, Earl's, Nando's, a few of the different restaurants here in the lower mainland. And this just happens to be a good shot of uh, a place I look forward to going to in one of our recently comp completed projects in Spain where they've incorporated and this is 
quite a nice hotel where they've incorporated into the rooftop design with the retractable panels and just making the rooftop just a lot more usable space. And then we also have a single family division uh, and then just some showing some kind of different types of designs. Sometimes we do incorporate a wood post and beam, give it that bit of that West Coast flavor, especially for out here in BC. And the different types of how our system will, will connect and how it integrates into the back of, of single family, family homes quite easily. And Henry, uh, Henry will take it over from here and he'll get into the benefits of, of balcony glazing Go ahead, Henry. Well, thanks, Mark. I really appreciate that. It was uh, wonderful to see all those slides and how you presented that. Um, I'm going to take up uh, the cause. My name is Henry Newhouse. I'm uh, representing Lumon in Eastern Canada for the project development management end of things. And I'm going to share with you in the first series of slides benefits of our balcony glazing. And um, one of the most important benefits that a lot of uh, the developers are discovering and end users as well is the livability of our system incorporated on the balconies making the balcony space a livable space when you really think about it balconies uh, is not have not been traditionally used very effectively or the, a low percentage of usage and when the condos are being built uh, in the latest builds, anyways, most of them are anywhere between 800 to 1,000 square feet. And to add an additional livable space with our retractable glazing without impacting the gross floor area or the FSR, it is a real positive um, benefit for the end user for the livability aspect of it. You're basically uh, adding a good percentage of livable space, which they wouldn't prior uh, with uh, an open balcony have experienced. And one of the developers, as Mark was talking about earlier, um, Quadra Homes in the La Galleria, they market it and other developers market it as well. Additional livable space on the balcony. They call it solariums with some of the developers. And in this particular scenario, that extra space is almost 20% of the condo extra for the end user to use and it's protected space they can leave their furniture out there and the enjoyable time throughout the year is much greater used compared to an open balcony scenario this is one of the units in downtown toronto on navy wharf overlooking lake ontario a beautiful view and protected area where you uh, can leave your furniture out and enjoy the space no matter what time of year. And uh, it's a wonderful uh, feature and benefit for the end user to have this protected space. This is another great scenario. This is a rendering of one of the projects that is being built out in British Columbia. I'm not quite sure if it's quite finished yet. Around enjoyment, this particular balcony, it's about over 200 square feet of additional space wonderful uh, extra living space uh, without impacting the FSR or the GFA. So this is uh, what far most one of the top reasons and benefits for this to be incorporated in new designs and new condo living. One of the other big benefits and a major benefit uh, for developers and end users um, to have glazing on the balconies is for protection. And not only for just the user, and the user gets protected from all the weather elements, whether it be rain, snow, wind, or pests such as pigeons, or uh, garbage that blows in from the wind, or noise, and also the control of heat and cold. It is uh, a great protection layer that can be added to a structure for the end user. But not only is it a benefit uh, for protecting the end user, it's a protection for the building itself. The core envelope of the building, the interior thermal walls are protected with this extra layer from the same elements of heat and cold and the weather elements which uh, deteriorate the exterior envelope and windows and concrete that's exposed. But if it's protected, uh, the longevity of those exterior envelope, envelope uh, elements are protected, which is a great benefit to the longevity of the building and to 
uh, developer as an owner or the owners of the building. This is a, a simple picture, but a powerful picture. A picture paints a thousand words. This is a simple before and after or with or without glazing. And that just summarizes what I said before, you know, when you have an open balcony, garbage, wind blows, furniture around, things are less protected. But if you're protected with glazing system, uh, that you can enjoy the weather for most of the year in there. And uh, it is, and you leave your cushions and your pillows there and it's uh, well protected and, and nice to enjoy. So that's a huge, huge benefit. This is a picture of uh, Mark's former residence in Burnaby, where when you're open to the elements, this is what happens. You can't keep your pillows there. You can't keep certain items out there because of the weather elements. This is covered all in snow and you get dust, you get wind, things rattle and blow around. But if you have your protection with the glass, uh, you can have a, a safe, uh, environment protected and you can maintain uh, your pillows and your decorations and your furniture in that spot without trying to store it. Uh, a lot of times the challenge is for a lot of people in condominiums is they have to move their balcony furniture uh, to a storage place because it does not stay in good shape or the wind has havoc with it in the winter time. So a big question that we have for a lot of designers, builders, developers, investors is, is when you build balconies on buildings and developments, is it a profitable business? And, and why do you build uh, balconies on developments? A lot of times there's a high demand for it. People like the aspect of having balconies, being outdoors, being exposed to the exterior, which is a very positive thing, but, for the most time, people don't utilize that space usefully and for a great period of time because of all the elements that impact them, as I stated earlier. This is another uh, picture and slide about a developer who markets, and, and Europe is really strong in this. They market the solariums and the balconies as an additional living space, which is makes it a good investment on the building. It makes it more profitable. And this scenario shows that there's a new way of thinking about balconies in Canada. You know, the traditional option has been open balconies. You know, the, there's a desire for that, but the use and the investment is doesn't pay. But the Lumon solution is the smart solution, we believe. And a lot of developers are coming on board with that. And this is just a typical example, an average example of the investment, the additional investment to go with the Lumon solution of an additional $7,000 in glazing, and you can add an upcharge to the unit of $20,000. So therefore, on average, a profit of $13,000 per the amount of units that are in that building. This is just averages, but it gives you an idea that it can be beneficial to the owners, the builders, the investors, to add the glazing to that development. And then you get happier customers and the word is spreading. And History has proven in Europe that that works very well and is working very well in different parts of Canada as well. This is uh, one of the developers, uh, Concordia, out in British Columbia that does market it as well. And they are in uh, also pre-building stages, pre-construction stages. And it is uh, well marketed uh, having our systems on the balconies. So it's a strong failing, uh, selling feature which is starting to really catch on. One of the, the other big benefits, as Mark was mentioning earlier in the presentation, is the 50% noise reduction. I'm getting more and more requests in regards to this noise reduction because of some of the zoning bylaws, but also because of the infill areas that developers are uh, inserting buildings at or retrofitting older buildings. Uh, we're, there is busy corridors going through and having our glazing on the balconies really uh, reduces the noise. Noise mitigation is a big, big benefit. You know, near airports, uh, near uh, busy highways, near uh, train stations. And studies have proven that with our glazing system, depending on the, the thickness of the, the glazing or depending on the style of the balcony, how it's designed, 
will reduce the noise by up to 27 decibels, and which is a great reduction. And when you go inside the units, you can barely hear the noise that you would formerly hear more when there's no blazing and Lumon systems are not on the building. This is a picture of a typical transit situation that you got the go train or metro links or you have the sky train or you have cn rail there's many different um, transit systems that are also close to uh, multi uh, family dwellings which the request for okay how are you going to handle or meet the, the noise reduction requirements and our systems add it to the project will greatly benefit the noise reduction requirements based on the zoning Another side feature which is really uh, enjoyed and um, liked by the end user is our systems are easy to maintain and clean. Uh, here you see a, a lady cleaning the glass, the outside and the inside, very easy on both sides. But history has proven over the last 35, 40 years, those that have Lumon glazing on their balconies also take care of the glass, they take care uh, that their balconies look neat and used in a positive way. So it actually reflects positively to the building and that reflects positively to the unit values and therefore, it, and it is also very much a positive feature for the end user. So it's easy to clean and maintain. And, uh, and again, it's really enjoyed by most. Another great side benefit, and this is a posting from IBI, but researchers and health experts have indicated that the more people are exposed to light and enjoy light which is sometimes limited in condo living but with our glazing system on there people can get out on their balconies more times throughout the year and enjoy the light which is healthy for uh, humans it's healthy for living and for moods and and some parts of the country some parts of the world every ray of sunshine is important to people's health and experts is more and more, and you can read articles in the newspaper in regards to having a balcony or having outdoor space that you can connect with the environment. And especially when you're working from home now during this post-COVID era, um, having larger exterior uh, space is uh, a positive uh, for those. Even if they're working at home in an office, those that are also at the home because of COVID can go to the balcony and play. There's many videos online, kids playing out on the balconies and, you know, with the at home requirements and mandates and lockdowns, this has become a very positive aspect to having enclosures on balconies. Another feature of Lumon is we are also very cognizant of the environment. We care about the environment and, and in different aspects of that, uh, based on the materials that we use, based on the energy savings that people can experience, based on reduced cost of maintenance of a building, which uh, building owners can experience. And tradition has it and experience has it that when you put glazing, our glazing on balconies, the maintenance period extends way out to 25 years versus eight or 10 years before you have to do some maintenance on the balcony, restoration or caulking or replacement of windows and patio doors. Glazing just extends that maintenance period. The life of the building gets elongated and you reduce costs that way as well. The maintenance costs get reduced dramatically. The other feature about our product, all our products are 100% recyclable. So if there is a scenario where things have to be replaced or we have it also in places in Europe where there's installations that are 30, 35 years old, they want to modernize it, contemporize the design, then the old systems can be 100% recycled. So it really has a positive impact on our carbon footprint. We're also very much involved in helping reduce CO2 emissions in green building solutions. Um, we can partner along with retrofit companies to make buildings more green. You know, there's a lot of old building stock out there that need to be retrofitted or planning new builds that can be their life and their CO2 emissions are definitely um, improved uh, worldwide with the use of our systems on buildings. 
Again, as I said, we're very cognizant of our carbon footprint. Our products also contribute to Leeds points. So we are positive on the environment. The, the payback period is within five years, between two and a half to four and a half years is the payback period, but the lifespan of our product uh, goes out to 25 plus years. As I was saying, there are many installations in the world that have our systems on that are over 25, 30 years old. So it is a real positive feature of Lumon. We are discussing with a lot of retrofit companies and installing our systems on older buildings that need to be refurbished and um, it will just extend the life, make them more energy efficient. Um, they, and those are all positive aspects to our car carbon footprint. Another big benefit and plus of Lumon uh, for a building structure is the energy savings. And, and no matter where you are in the world, there is energy savings, some more, some less, depending on the climate. Uh, the, our origins come from Scandinavia, where they have a colder climate. And uh, there's a lot of studies in Europe in regards to this. And we have um, recorded a lot of scientific studies on the energy savings on it. But you can save up to 34%. This slide here, uh, shows in, a, in one slide as to some, some of the savings that can be realized. And the scenario of this particular structure there, the top unit has no balcony at all. And uh, without a uh, air conditioning unit going, the, war the unit can get quite warm. If you add balconies to a building with no glazing though, uh, it does reduce and does help and protect the inside unit and the temperatures are reduced. If you put glazing on the balcony, it reduces the temperature some more. If you have glazing on the balcony, but you have one glass panel open, it reduces the temperature some more. And the best scenario is the bottom unit where you have a glazing panel open with blinds and reduces the temperature even more. So in that scenario, you save a lot of your cooling energy in the summertime, but in the wintertime, the heat gain is phenomenal and you have less heating costs as well. So um, you have that extra envelope of protection on the balcony sides where it, uh, the outside elements do not get at the interior of the structure and therefore there's less heating costs involved. In Canada, the average is around 8% energy savings, but you have as up as high as 15% of energy savings as well in Canada. And there's different averages around the world. What's also very positive and a benefit of Lumon systems on buildings is our modern clean line minimalist designs. As we have changed our designs in the last couple of decades and we've reduced a lot of the profiles on the balustrade or the railing systems, but all our upper retractable glazing systems are frameless. They do not detract from the look of the building and they are timeless and they're very modern, very clean lined, especially our new railing systems that are postless. We've reduced the amount of profiles that are involved in the design. So it is a very positive feature and a very versatile. You know, we have different varieties of and applications that can be used in different designs. So uh, because of the versatility, because of the clean lines, because it's clear glass for the retractable glazing, it is uh, a very positive feature in the design element. I'm going to go into some of the balcony products. First of all, all our products are certified internationally for working in with buildings and they're engineered and they're, we, we're, we're all patented and inter, internally designed, but they're all engineered and certified for use and in, uh, both international standards as well as Canadian standards. And our, we are CCMC approved in Canada. Uh, we meet and or exceed our the building codes uh, provincially as well, as well as nationally. So it is, uh, and our product is one of the only products that is approved for the use on multifamily dwellings. 
the systems that are used on uh, multifamily dwellings, are, there's, there's variations of the system, and depending on whether it's low rise, mid rise, or high rise will dictate which system is used. And in our uh, systems, and when we entered into our internal systems, it, it helps dictate an engineered system. And sometimes there's wind loads that need to be considered, structural uh, considerations that need to be put into consideration, um, the whole design, and will dictate what we what products we use. Traditionally, uh, the, the Lumon 5 goes on low rise, mid rise, and the Lumon 6 goes on mid rise to high rise. It's a little bit more of a uh, durable, stronger profiling system. We also have those same systems in full height systems. And as Mark mentioned earlier in the presentation, uh, all our systems are hung from the upper structures, whether it's concrete, wood, or steel, and uh, the glazing rides along tracks. But there's a telescopic profiling system, profiling system in the top, which um, are used for adjustments, especially in the first year when there is deflection happening, when there is uh, some certain uh, imperfections in the leveling of the concrete or the wood structure, we can make adjustments and we have that built-in adjustment system in the upper telescopic system. So, and especially deflection is important because of shrinkage or movement in the buildings. So we have that also with our full height systems, the L16 and the L17. And we have one system called the L7S, which is weighted on the bottom. We only use that in residential issues or, or situations. So, and we, and these systems accept different thicknesses of glass from six millimeter to um, 10 millimeter up to 12 millimeter. The L5 goes up to 10 millimeter and the L6 can go up to 12 millimeter thickness of glass. And uh, both systems, both full height and half height systems, uh, the same thing applies. This is a typical corner unit, which just shows the demonstration on how it op operates and opens up. This is like a typical corner unit where you have one or two doors and the doors open or the gates open at one end or, the, or both ends and the glass slides along and opens up at the, at the door. So you can have it gathered at both ends or you can have get it gathered at the one end if you have a bypass incorporated into the design. All our aluminum is powder coat paint, painted and it is uh, industry standards. Okay, so uh, we have our own standard colors that people can select from, but we also have a full range of uh, REL colors that people can speak, uh, pick from to match if the design is required. And there's different pricing systems for if you go beyond the standard colors that we have in our, our industry. Glass on the balustrades on the railings, you can get to tinted glass and you, so a lot of times grays and blues are used or browns or um, and texture so we have all those options available uh, to our clients we also have different coloration of laminations and uh, there's some weird wild funky colors that can be used a lot of times laminated uh, railing systems are when they're um, on the sides or front mounted on the slab or within 50 millimeters from the edge of the slab, then we have to have laminated glass and you can incorporate a color into that laminated glass. We also do sandblasting and uh, in custom patterns or silk screen printing. And we also have a blind system that can be incorporated and they're custom made per glass panel, they move with the glass, and they operate from top down or bottom up, and you can use them for privacy, you can use them for heat control, and they're a great, great system, tried, tested, and true. So Lumon is involved and assists in the, from the design process right through, uh, through the ordering and manufacturing right through to installations. There's not one step that we don't uh, get involved in, especially it's very important to us that we do our own installations. We don't hand off to a subcontractor to do our installs. We do our own installs and warranty, uh, our own work. 
and we service and maintain our own work. We have great plans available for condo boards beyond the warranties to service where required. And our, our product is tried, tested and true and they last for decades. So it is a, a great system to have incorporated into a condo building. Our vision is to be the best and most desired in this marketplace. So it is uh, one of our one of the ways that we do do this is being close to the customer, understanding what the needs are, whether you're a designer or whether you're a developer or whether you're an end user or an engineer. We keep our promises to the best of our ability. It's important that we follow through with what we say we do. And we build a future together. It's very important that we can work as a team. We work alongside our stakeholders, our partners in this industry to make sure that we come with the best possible product to the market and that will stand the test of time, but also create a good livable experience, and which, which is got back to the first point that I brought in the presentation, a very livable, enjoyable experience on the balcony. And that's what we're about. So I think this, brings us to the point of questions and um, so i think we are going to field some questions through the chat thanks henry yep that was great to give everybody a really good idea and just one other thing just to elaborate on the service and the installation was there was a five-year warranty on on our products and then a two-year warranty offered on the installation so yeah just yeah, thank uh, you mark appreciate that yeah, a few questions have come up. Um, uh, just looking at one of them here. Can I inst still install a balcony closure in my pre-existing condo? Henry, do you want to field that question? Then? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thanks, uh, Mark. Um, I believe that uh, we get approached by folks all the time in regards to, hey, I have an existing condo and with a balcony, uh, can I enclose my balcony? And we have that every day, every week throughout the year. We get people asking that question all the time. And yes, we do that. We have a, we call it a condo consumer team where we have representatives go to your unit. We will uh, help you uh, talk to the, the condo board or to the property management company and um, answer any questions that they may have. And we'll help uh, you as a person, uh, we'll provide you with a price uh, and we will actually go through the, the permitting process and approval process, okay? And we'll do a, a presentation with your condo board and, and ultimately if they all approve, uh, then every municipality, um, they familiar with our system and they approve our system. There's a section 98 uh, that needs to be signed. It's because it's a common element, it needs to be signed. And uh, the condo board is uh, and then behind, backing behind you 100% in that situation. And then uh, once the condo board approves it, then we open it up to other residents in the building. And then we go to uh, the city for uh, permit approval and then uh, we build it. So there is a process that we follow and yes, that, that question comes up all the time. Thanks Mark for that question. And you know, we, anyone who uh, has that scenario can definitely reach out to us at any time. We'll direct you to the folks involved. And uh, as far as, and Mark, I just wanted to ask you, uh, how does, how does the uh, balcony installation with the retractable glazing, I know that you folks had an issue with the FSR out, out west. How did that impact for you folks uh, out west uh, with, for the FSR and um, what kind of remedies have been addressed for that matter? Yeah, thanks, Henry. Yeah, that's a really good question. When we do a lot of the lunch and learns with the architectural firms, that uh, question comes up a lot. And, of course, developers are, are, are always – uh, concerned about if there is any FSR implications where there's, uh, for the most part, uh, in many, many municipalities across Canada, uh, we've had the good fortune where our system doesn't count towards the uh, FSR or FAR. Uh, that's been the case in, in Toronto, uh, Mississauga, Hamilton, uh, in the West here, and Montreal as well. But in the West here, 
Uh, we've had uh, worked closely with the Township of Langley uh, with our quadra building projects, and it didn't count towards the FSR there. And that uh, also happened when we approached the city of Abbotsford. Um, recently, uh, Maple Ridge, uh, Burnaby, um, the city of Delta has also indicated uh, that they uh, don't think those, there should be any FSR implications as well. But it is with some of the municipalities, like for example, the city of Vancouver. Um, we've been working closely with them. They, they had their balcony and closure guidelines that were written quite some time ago, uh, written at a time before systems like ours were available. And now we've worked closely with the city officials. Uh, a few months ago, there was a public hearing on, on the concept and the councillors voted 11 and 0 in favour of an amendment to the balcony enclosure guidelines. So we look forward to working with the city over the next few few months uh, on those new uh, guidelines that, uh, and hopefully our system won't be counted in the FSR in the city of Vancouver. And then as I mentioned, a recent one with the city of Burnaby now where they've uh, pre-approved the concept there for, for quite a large development there as well. Uh, and in Burnaby, they happen to have large, quite large balconies and we're happy that uh, to have our system incorporated on, on these developments as well. So, but in general, just uh, with many of the municipalities, sometimes there are certain ones that are kind of going with some of these more antiquated uh, bylaws. Uh, we're working with with a planning official, and sometimes it's just a matter of working closely with the developer or the architect, and just kind of articulating how our system exactly operates and ensuring that they understand that it's a single glaze system, not double glazing, the balcony remains as a balcony, it remains as an outdoor space. Uh, we're not trying to, or people aren't trying to turn it into a bedroom or a den or anything like that. So, and once they kind of understand the system, then then uh, we can usually get the approval has been the case. So our batting- Yeah, it's because it's, because it's a it's a tempered space, right? A tempered glass space, and it's not a exterior wall. It's not a thermal wall, and it's a breathable system. So it's not like it is a exterior thermal uh, conditioned space. Exactly. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a, another question, uh, Mark. It's a very common question, and and I got it up here on the chat, and we, sure. I get it all the time, and maybe you can address this as well is um, and we did talk about an example earlier in the slideshow about costs, but on average, you know, that every presentation I do, I get that question. I'm sure you get those questions all the time. How do you answer a question uh, on uh, the cost of a typical install? Sure, so just for our history in Canada with a lot of the projects that we've uh, been involved in, just to kind of give everybody a really good idea Let's just say a balcony happens to be five feet by 10 feet by five feet. So that'd be a total of 20 linear feet. For most projects, if we're doing say 100 units or more at a time, usually our pricing come between the 380 to 420 per linear foot mark. So that would maybe be around $7,000, $7,600. And that includes the railing system as well. So when developers take out what they would spend on the railings with others, then it just makes it even a lot more attractive on the pricing side of things. And then as mentioned in that, uh, or that slide that uh, Henry presented there, just with an average balcony of maybe being seven or $8,000 extra cost to the developer, a lot of developers notice that with the balcony glazing, it, it's a great selling feature and it can help get, uh, there is kind of a uh, high kind of perceived value of that space uh, for condo development. So, and they feel that they can get the extra fifteen thousand or twenty thousand dollars, and get a pretty pretty good return on their investment. Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much, Mark. Yeah, so I think uh, we're rounding towards the end. If I'm not mistaken, is there any other questions that we, uh, can address that you see, Mark, uh, that would be uh, uh, pertinent to uh, this presentation? I don't see any on the message boards here, but of course, uh, Henry working, uh, he's our, the colleague, he looks after Eastern Canada, I look after Western Canada. Uh, feel free to reach out to either one of us here, here at Lumon. 
Mark, uh, M A R K dot D graph D E G R A A F at loom1.com, and we'd be happy to. And Henry can, I don't know if you want to share your email address as well, or, or people can follow well, I think most, most would uh, have that uh, uh, in the, yeah. uh, from the building show. They're, they yeah. have our contact yeah. information um, uh, and prior to the seminar. Uh, or the presentation so they can reach out to us for their own particular needs. We're more than willing to do a, either another online presentation with the rest of their team, or uh, I am welcome to invite you to our facility in Vaughan and we can do uh, a presentation in our showroom uh, using uh, safe practices during this COVID period of time. I know that's always a bit of a, an issue for some of uh, our designers, but uh, you know we definitely can do online presentations as well. Yep. Well, thank you, Mark, very much. Uh, and I hope that everyone who joined us today uh, has really um, got a handle on what, at least from a broad strokes, what Lumon can provide. And, uh, and we're here to help and assist you as, uh, stakeholders in this industry, we love to be able to provide you with a great Lumon solution and Lumon advantage for your building and uh, improve um, the livability of the balconies right across Canada because this is the way of the future. And uh, I know the wave has run through Europe and is continuing to grow there as well. And there's so many benefits that uh, the condo builders and dwellers can enjoy with our product on the buildings in Canada. So we're here to help. Yeah, thanks for that, Henry. And thanks everyone for your time and consideration today. Thank you.